I love softball. And I love everything about it. I really like playing with my friends. But it's mornings like this that I really question, why do I play softball? <laughs> so it's uh, it's tournament day. It's going down and playing in a little uh, four-team deal down at the lake. And uh, stand by. All right, going down and playing in a little four-team deal down at the lake. About 10 minutes ago, they said the game times got pushed back two hours. I'm up, I'm ready to go. And Quentin's waiting on me and riding with Quentin down there and he's waiting on me. So I guess we're gonna go hunt for some breakfast and really make this vlog an adventure today. So let's uh, get there, get met up with Quentin. I gotta get some energy. Then uh, see what the day brings us. I'm not sure what kind of condition the fields are gonna be in or like how ruthless this ballpark is as far as getting a tournament in, but uh, I think we're getting ready to find out. <sighs> He's not even here yet. So the gas station hall did not go as anticipated. Like, I'm never a firm believer in, like, you gotta eat this food at a certain time. Like, food don't know what time it is. Eat it whenever you want. But I had it in my head, I wanted something like breakfasty. So I get in there, and there was like no like grill items for breakfast stuff. Like no little like breakfasty ketos or nothing. So I go over to the other side, and there's a bunch of freaking hot dogs with no buns. I'm like, well, I don't want to do with that either. So I said, no big deal, I'll go grab some donuts. They didn't have any donuts. Okay, well, I'll go get some pizza. They always got pizza, they didn't have any pizza. Get your shit together, break time. So we're, we we ended up with a, a muscle milk and some monsters, which the monsters were in the plane anyway, but I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a big muscle milk guy, but I just needed something in my stomach. So I'm on like some prescription strength uh, anti-inflammatories and you gotta get something in my stomach and uh, I guess, I guess muscle milk it is so I can at least get these things in until we get where we're going for breakfast. <clears throat> I, I got just a spot for you picked out shit. Ed. Yeah, be glad you woke up. So it's a thing like when I ride with someone, uh, I, like, you know, going to, going to a tournament or something, it's really early. I always like shoot them a text or something. You know, just like make sure they're up. So I, I send them a text and I said, hey man, you up? He didn't answer me. About 10 minutes goes by, I called him. He didn't answer me. So I start panicking. My man, like Q's asleep. He, he's not he's not with us right now. So I tagged him in something on Facebook. And then right about that time he called me. Yeah, he says, I'm awake, I'm just dragging my feet. Well, turns out he was right. So now here we are with a two hour delay to uh, get this tournament started for the day. So I got this good little spot picked out for breakfast. We're gonna go see what's going on down there. I don't know what the pandemic's got going on with uh, restaurants being open. This one's usually open 24 seven, but uh, we're gonna find out and see what's up. We go see if they out here. They out here, oh, they open, they open. Check out the Broadway Diner, y'all. Oh yeah, this is the spot right here. If you, if you live in the Columbia area, trying to get some breakfast or any kind of food, you gotta hit it up. We're gonna go in here. It's a bro. A little bit of Western omelet life. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, son. Got some hash browns. You checking in with the biscuits and gravy. And the eggs and the hash browns. It's gonna be fire. Hey, hey you ain't got, you said you had your makeup on, so you ain't gotta worry about nothing. He said, let me fix my hat. Uh. No, no, it wasn't the makeup, it was the bed head. It was the bed head, man. <laughs> so, got that grub in. We're looking at, let's see, you play at what? Would be 10, 10 o'clock now? Yeah. 7.47, we got maybe an hour and change on the road. I think we're gonna go try and find some something to do. Maybe maybe go, um, we said there's a Dick's Sporting Goods in what, Jeff City? There's one down by the ballpark too. One down by the ballpark. So if you're not familiar with the area, the Lake of the Ozarks actually has a lot of like uh, outlet malls, shopping places to go. So, may, may go down there and 
see what's going on. I mean, I didn't plan on spending a whole lot of money today, but you know, sometimes when you got that downtime, you ain't really got nothing else to do. So we're gonna devise a plan and and maybe do a little chopping. You never know. We ain't all dirty, nasty, muddy yet, so you know, it wouldn't hurt to go in somewhere and, and see what's going on. But that's the thing that kind of sucks about having these delays like this, especially like first thing in the morning, is it just kind of leaves you in Rome to start the day. But uh, we're gonna build on it. We're gonna make something out of it. So checking in at the uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, but I'm a sucker for the Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> but I think we're just gonna go into Dick's instead. It does look like Bed Bath and Beyond is open, but I am a sucker for a good trip to uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Q decided he needed some batting gloves. I still don't. Still don't know if you need some. They got more over here. I'm kind of digging the red. The red on the Franklins. I actually bought some of those at Walmart. I forgot my gloves. Yeah. And I needed some gloves. So I got me some like cheap Franklin gloves from Walmart. And they're not too bad. And I like, keep them in the car as like a if I get to grab my gloves out of my bag. And it's uh they're they're not too bad. It looks like these might be the same ones, but they're in red instead of like black and gold. No, we found the adult batting gloves. So what are those over there? Oh. <laughs> hopefully nobody sees that. <laughs> Hopefully nobody sees that we stand there sizing up the adult bat or the uh, youth batting gloves. But these are the Franklin you got. Yes, that's yeah, that's those. That's those. See, see now, see, see now we're in the adult gloves, so we're finding what we need. These are the ones I got. I was uh, honestly surprised they're not too bad. Those Nikes are kind of hot, twenty five bucks. That pair of my warm out so fast it wasn't done. Really? Truthfully. What are you wearing now? I know I'm a normal. Are you? Yeah. Think about going with a pair of them spiders. Though. Do they have spiders here? No, but I'm talking about them. <laughs> Head, headbanger does. Yeah. <laughs> so what is those? Are those UAs? Nope, Adidas. Oh, those are Adidas, okay. You think about giving them a try because I feel like they got some good leather there. The, the, the palm is the biggest part. Yep, that's what I'm saying. It feels like it's got some good leather there. I mean, come on. I mean, we're here, do it for YouTube, spend $50 on some Maruchis. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta go with white gloves though, man. I'm telling you, it's this thing. So it's it's this thing. You know, we'll because I got all whites already in my bag. <laughs> well, it's this thing I've been on. My buddy Ross has got me on uh, white gloves and white back grips because it makes your hands look fast. It's like wearing bright shoes. Shoot, when you already got fast hands, you, <laughs> my fast hands, then oh, make No, fast. no, no, I, I ain't here to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> so not those necessarily my, my question has always been yeah. i'm like yeah, i'm an air force i'm like i'm on this air force one kick like they don't make anything for like a air force one style looking shoe and like a turf shoe so like they like some make some nike golf shoes i like and my question is is like could a golf shoe pass as a turf shoe i think it'd be decent See, and those are so clean. I like those a lot. Got to be a rich golfer to own something like this, though, because <laughs> us poor softball players can't afford that. Nah, nah. How you know about golf? You ain't no golf. You get in. Oh, God. You give... If he ever gives you that look, just check out of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. That's one of them Q doing Q things. <laughs> So, maybe after looking at the golf selection here, as far as like the golf shoes, I wanted to see them in person. So here's another one here. Oh, I see it's got the little spike things on it. So maybe, maybe this one's going into. I can get me something that kind of looks like a uh, something that resembles a turf. It is a Nike. I don't know why. Like I've got got some Air Force ones. Yeah. See. Yeah. So I'm saying so I, I think that's I think that's a ticket man that's that's good so maybe maybe we've got something to look into maybe that'll be an adventure we'll go on on the channel trying to find something like that but yeah do this I'm gonna do this number so I can 
do this and I'm gonna do this. I was getting there. I'm just being nice, dude. Man. Munching on a freaking Twizzler before the game. So we're rolling up to, I've never been to this complex before. This, uh, this place don't look too bad. I guess they do have like league and stuff out here. I had no clue. Of course, I don't really live down this way either. Nice little setup they got here. Put it here and get Q's action in for game one. It's like being in a nice park like this, they'd find a way to drain this water a little better, but here's what it is. Well, I mean, it is down in a freaking hole. All the viewers don't even know that. Well, they just found out because you run your fucking <laughs> mouth. <laughs> this dude, man, I can't take him anywhere. I don't even know what field we're on. I don't know what's going on. I know he plays in like 10 minutes and. <laughs> He's not overly excited about getting here and getting loose. He's mad he's got to play third base today. Tell him about it, Q. Pretty salty. <laughs> My new team left me catch EH, and now I got to go play the field for the first time of the year. <laughs> Darn. You got to earn it. <laughs> so we're going to get some good, uh, good, good clips of Q getting melted over here. <laughs> they don't call me a candle for nothing. <laughs> I out here. I hear drag in the old field. So we were two hours behind anyway and we get here and they pushed it behind like another hour. They got like diamond dry down like right over there. Like right right, right, right there. And uh, I think they threw, threw some down somewhere over by the bag, I think. So it kind of sucks. Like we rushed to get in here just to turn around and not be here for a while. But at least I get to see your pretty face. He's not even going to look. Shithead. <laughs> so after another hour delay, it's almost game time. Yeah, and we got the coach's boxes. <laughs> got the oh, to quit. So after a disaster and four hours of rain delays, we finally get this game going. And my man Andre got on in front of me here, and this is not how I plan on starting my day. But things can only go up from there, right? Playing mat ball, swinging a pitch I didn't want to swing at, and. Tried to push it the other way because there's only one out. Still hit into a double play. What do you do? But was able to get this first game in the books. Ended up playing against a team that only had nine guys on it. Um, I'm not sure what their roster situation was. They had a couple guys drop on them. Just couldn't find anybody to make the travel to uh, the tournament. But uh, they still came out. They were good sports about it. Still played all their games. And uh, they were still enjoyable to play. I know sometimes when you play against teams that are shorthanded or got a little bit of a crisis and stuff like that going on. They're all going to be short. They're all going to be grumpy. They're going to be mad at each other. Uh, but these guys are still upbeat, and uh, they realized kind of what they were up against going to the game with nine and still found the way to make the best out of the day. And that, to me, is what the sport is all about, making the best out of the day no matter the situation you're put in. Ah! Nothing? Nobody? I was, just, I was expecting to scare somebody. <laughs> Game one in the books. Can I get a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Game one in the books. Now i got to come down here and uh, back to back. We're firing back to back here. And now i got to play against the turd I drove down here with. Rode down with, whatever. And I think after that we've got a little bit of a break. Go we'll hunt for some more food. I like, I like hunting for food. It's part of the adventure of a vlog. Go get this game out of the way. Got the first one in the books. Johnny Hall. <laughs> so game number two started off with a little bit of a defensive battle. Uh, kind of a slow game starting. And once the bats started rolling here, uh, it was game on after that for us. We were able to pull out the victory in this one. This team was basically thrown together by the guy that's pitching. If you can tell, he's got a Sonic uniform on. So we were able to get in this tournament a little bit late and... They decided to throw us in a competitive division, and part of doing that included uh, one of our guys having to make a team just so we could have a competitive division. So shout out to John for even making this day possible. And it was kind of cool because John picked up a bunch of his friends that are local to him, and coincidentally enough, uh, we're all just kind of one big circle of friends, and it's always kind of fun to play those games uh, where everybody's kind of friends and they can kind of go back and forth and mess around with each other a little bit. It's always a good time. The trash talk and everything else. It never gets so serious that somebody's ready to fight. But you can still have plenty of it and laugh about it. And then go be friends off the field. Those are the best kind of games to play. We ended up pulling out the dub in this one. And then 
We're going to go and watch this disaster for lunch hour. Game two in the books. We beat the shithead. <laughs> we got her done. Go find us some quick food. I was kind of hoping to like eat something a little bit light, but I don't think we're going to get that lucky. So we'll see what happens. Find some quick food and uh, scramble back to the ballpark. We got a one game break and then I think we're pretty much on for, no, I guess we won't be on the rest of the day. So there's a, a one game break. We have a one game break and then we play and then I think we'll we might have one. a two or three game break. You sit one and brackets will come out. Yeah, brackets will come out. I'm assuming if as long as we win this next game, we will be the one seed, which means we'll probably sit for at least a couple. There's only four teams on this one field. So we'll see what happens. So we've decided on Wendy's. Thank you to the Wendy's. Oh, they got my ass. Cash. If you have cash, go ahead with your order. Oh, do not. Do what now? Only cash. Only cash. If you have cash, go ahead with your order. I do not. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> that was disappointing. Tough break. What, uh, oh, what, really? We're doing this right here? We're doing this right here? And then they're going to. Oh, God. <laughs> Stick your ladder up there before the bud. What, what, what is what I'll it? I'll take is? it right out of your hands. What, <laughs> what is happening? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. We just swung and missed on one of a few food choices. Uh, I feel like, not that Wendy's is like the best, but I just really feel like you're asking for disaster going to Taco Bell. So, um, I guess we're going to backtrack yonder way there and, uh, Let's see what we can find. Oh, oh my God! Go 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 go! Where are we going? So we'll just take a check. Okay. Dude, we're, we're swinging and missing here. This line for McDonald's is like all the way, like around the building. Because because it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh everybody acts like they didn't know what lunch time. Oh my was. God! Well, the thing that you, if maybe if you would have just made the turn for steak and shake the first time. Shush. <laughs> The, uh, I feel like I'm riding with skates again. <laughs> Doing my best to, uh, to to live on the legacy. <laughs> skates ain't with us this weekend. I'm telling you what, boys. The dude is a walking soundbite. So now, pressure's on here. Now I'm sitting here talking about it. And he ain't gonna miss it. We're gonna we're gonna see. Ah, oh, 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 you made it. Steak and shake it is. Oh my God! What the? F oh. No. I'm up on the curb trying to get in here fast. <laughs> Running over shit. <sighs> oh, this this really shakes my steak. <laughs> <laughs> Not a meal right now. Well, I don't know what to do. One thing about it though, if we go back to McD's, you know the line's gonna move fast because they fast food. Jeez, man. Oh, I guess. And they did put high C back on the menu. I, I don't know what else to do, really. Do I don't we... either, because we can't sit here. No. You know how it is here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like so we're not making solid food choices today. Usually, I would prep a little bit in advance and like pack some food and a cooler and and do that kind of thing. But I realized at like eight o'clock last night that I had done none of that. I didn't want to scramble around, so we're just kind of winging it. Just winging it. Yeah. I've already ate out once today. I'm trying not to just like break the bank here, but sometimes it just bees that way. That's what you got to do. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> My banker calls me and says, you got to stop eating out here. <laughs> so I've never used one of these before. Uh, English, continue. This is custom. Yeah, we like custom. Custom. No pickles. Okay, add it to the order. You know what, let's, let's crank it up. Let's do two of those. View my order, oh no, no back. View my order, no, that's not what I want. View, you fucking thing. Oh God, okay, I'm done. God, what a disaster. Out here, get some TCB action in. 
Ja. Remaining ready. Are we up? Yeah, we're up. Ah! My luck. It's game time. So the wheels kind of fell out the vlog here a little bit, mostly due to me just kind of being a nerd and not being used to vlogging. And the fact of lack of content, we just kind of distracted with a few things and I forgot to kind of keep uh, you guys kind of updated. And something went wrong with the camera and we only ended up getting about nine minutes of footage from this game. I'm not really sure what happened or, or, or why the camera and the live feed both stop. Sometimes we'll have trouble with the live feed and it'll shut off but the camera will still keep recording. But for whatever reason, the both of them shut down. We got back to the camera and it was still on, so I'm not 100% sure what happened. But uh, this was a weird game for us. We came out and we're pretty much non-existent as far as uh, offensively for the first, gosh, I think three or four innings. I think it was three, yeah, it was three innings. Uh, we didn't score a single run and then uh, just got a few hits and, and got rolling a little bit and had uh, what has become known as the Sonic inning. We'll have, we'll have just one great big inning and then just kind of keep tacking on from there. And that's what happened here, and we were able to pull out the victory in this one. And these guys should have been the two seed in the single elimination part of this 14 tournament here, but they had some obligations. They had to go. The four-hour rain delay kind of put everything behind for them, and they had some stuff going on that they had to be at. But they at least wanted a shot to play us, and they got it. So they got what they wanted. They got their games in. We got a chance to play them because we were kind of anxious to play them as well. So it all worked out as far as that aspect goes. We're going to catch back up with it here at the championship game after the three and four seeds played, which was our friend John's team and the team that only had nine guys. I did notice that at the end of that three and four seed game that John's team was starting to roll a little bit. And that's all I'm going to say. And I'll catch you up with uh, some of the game footage here. And we'll talk about that as we check it out. So as I kind of alluded to here in a little bit of the last game's footage, uh, these guys that John picked up and kind of put together for this team for this weekend is a mixture of a Legion of Boom guys, which is a local team to us. And we didn't have our full squad for this game, but uh, there was enough of us there. But we only had two pickups, and our two pickups did play very well. You know, kind of what I mentioned earlier with the friendship thing and, and all that stuff, playing against your friends, there's still a competitive side to that. We've got a couple of former Sonic players on the team that we're playing against. John being an absolute dog and wanting to win at all costs no matter what, especially a chance to beat his own team and talk some trash about it, which I can't say that I blame him for. These guys came out absolutely hungry and ready to fight. They ended up playing their last pool play game and then turning around again and playing right after that against the same team. So they basically got two games to get warmed up. They started hitting, and I told myself, right then and there that, well, these guys look like they're hitting a little bit. And I knew they were going to be hungry to come after us. You know, I'm not by any means saying that this Sonic team is a bunch of world beaters, but uh, locally we have gotten a reputation of being a good team. And that does come with having a bullseye on your back at times. And we definitely had one at the end of this tournament. And these guys were out for blood. So defensively, this game was a little bit of an adventure for our squad. We are normally really, really good defensively. And just had a few mistimed blunders, and it seemed like they were getting all of... I wouldn't necessarily call it the breaks, because they, they were earning the plays they were getting. It was kind of crazy to see. Just, man, it was just good, one good play after another. They're a good squad, and they could make those plays on any day. But it was just bang, 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 never a break in between for us. And I'm stopping everything I'm saying right now to talk about this pitch, this situation that's coming up right here. Like I said, we're starting to roll a little bit, and then this happened. This thing crossed me at my freaking head. But hashtag Matt Ball, strike three. Just love it. So thankfully the guys had my back. We were able to scratch and put up a few more runs. And where things got kind of weird with this was, instead of us being the one seed and automatically being the home team, we had to flip before the game. Not really sure why that was. I mean, it's a small, you know, benefit tournament. So it's not like it was worth throwing a big stink over or anything like that. And I mean, they make the rules, you know, you, you can't sit around and make excuses about could have did this different, could have did that different or anything else like that. 
Uh, bottom line is they got the home team and they utilize it to the best of their abilities. We go into this uh, four runs and a couple of absolute timely home runs and just tragic errors on our part. I think we ended up with two, maybe three chances to end this game without them walking away with the victory and they were able to stick it out, hit a walk-off home run on us, and pick up the win. They wanted it worse than we did, and you could absolutely see it. Well, that is why you play the games. Uh, I think everybody kind of expected, you know, the, the, the C team to, you know, come out on top, but that's why you play the games. You can't take what's on paper and transfer it to – you know, a bracket and say, oh, well, this team's going to win because they're this. You know, you got to play the games. They wanted it worse than we did, and they earned it. Uh, no doubt about it. They, uh, they they hit at the right time. We made a couple of mistakes at the wrong time, and so pitch softball in a nutshell, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just pull down this curtain. <laughs> Shit hit in the house. <laughs> just telling the kids here that uh, that's why you play the games. You know, you don't, you don't take, oh, well, this team's a C team and that team's a whatever team and and uh, call it a day. You know, you play the games and that's exactly why. So I still had fun, absolutely had fun. Uh, a day at the ballpark and seeing some friends and everything else is always a day well spent in my opinion. So uh, I'm going to wrap the vlog up here, just a boring ride home. I'm not doing anything tonight. I'm going home and I'm going to bed. I got up at 5 a.m. to hang out for a four-hour rain delay. And I got to thinking, we, we should have – like you, you got the news that there was a two-hour rain delay. We 100% should have just went back to sleep at my house. No doubt. I didn't even think about it. No doubt. <laughs> but at the same time, we we got to do some friendship things today. So friendship. I, I, I'm good with that. Yes. Hashtag. I'm good with that. Don't. That's that's one message I want to send out to a lot of people. Don't don't forget who your friends are in this world. Softball is not everything, guys. Make friends. Have friendship at the end of the day. Absolutely. So softball is just what you do together. You know, softball is just what you do together that you spend time with your friends. It's uh, 100% a, a message that needs to be heard more. Oh, you want me to get that? I'll get it. Yeah, you get it. I'm talking to the people. So, <laughs> as I said, we're, we're cutting it off here. We're just going to go probably probably get some some more trash can food <laughs> and uh, call it a night. But thanks for stopping in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Uh, congratulations to the LOB pickup team. For picking up the win today. And uh hope you guys enjoyed it. Sweetheart, in case you hit it, see you next time.